Welcome to Megadon's Gaming. Welcome once again to Megadon's Gaming and another ARC Community Crunch. This will be 411, an update on Shasta Source and more. Let's dive in, shall we? Welcome to another edition of the Community Crunch. With the launch of the center just around the corner on June 4th, we wanted to share some insights about the Shasta Source and how its design evolved during the development process. The Shasta Source, and namely its saddle, was one of the more ambitious designs we have done, and the team has really enjoyed the challenge. I'm sure they have. Two key areas we had to resolve related to making sure the, chest, the saddle actually functioned like a submarine, keeping the water out while the creature moves and how players and creatures move inside the sub itself. The first challenge required was both a shift in the overall design of the saddle and a tech solution. We learned pretty quick, quickly that having it on top of the creature wasn't going to be viable, so we had to redesign it to be under the Shasta. This challenge allowed us to ensure that we keep the water outside of the saddle at all times and eliminate the edge cases relating to the submarine being partially submerged. Tackling player and creature movement was purely te a techno technological driven solution or technology, however you want to do it. We rewrote some of the basing code, the logic that relates to what the creatures or the characters are standing and based on of Unreal when in different physics modes like falling and jumping, essentially creating a new basing system specifically when based inside the new saddle. This was definitely one of the more challenging creatures we have designed, so please excuse us for geeking out a little bit. So now you've heard the ins and outs on how we tamed the mighty Shastasaurus in the sub-aquatic saddle. It's your turn next. We can't wait to see all you cruising around the seas on the Sha in Shasta style, Shasta style on June 4th. And I'm not doing the mod spotlights. Because, you know, the premium mod did release for the Xbox. Uh, you PlayStation people, I do believe, have to wait a little longer. Um, okay, so you can download and play the custom content created by players, including maps, creatures, items, game modes, through a dedicated new mod browser directly within the game. Enjoy the endless stream of new art content and the creativity of ta a talented community that is fully unleashed for the first time across gaming platforms. And stay tuned as we spotlight more of the cross platforms each, each week. So you got... That video will do modern skin structures, dedicated storage skins, reverence cosmetics, sunken world editions, J fabs, Japanese temples, or J prefabs, I'm sorry, proximity mines, paleo arc evolution, and apex predators. New, cust new custom cosmetics for official servers will be the reverence cosmetics, modern skin structures, and dedicated storage skins. Again, there is the premium mod, which I wish they would bring this Leviathan into official to be fair <coughs> uh, well Le Levi leviathan which is spelled differently of course probably because of copyright issues anyway dive into the depths of the arc with the incredible leviathan premium mod available now on steam and xbox coming to playstation with the launch of premium mods unleash the leviathan the mismastive tooth whale is forced to, uh, forced to be reckoned with we'll cover its unique abilities from bone crushing bites to sonic blast and how to make the most of them in battle Master of the Sound Pad. Taming a Leviathan is not easy. We'll guide you through the many games and sound waves you need to win its trust. Get ready for a sympathy or symphony of survival. Don't lie to me, guys. S's are hard for me sometimes and have been for a very long time. Craft and Conquer. Explore the custom crafting mechanics and build powerful saddles, weapons, armors to make the Leviathan unstoppable. Prepare for an epic underwater battle. Gather your dino army and dive into the deaths. To face the ultimate challenge, the Alpha Leviathan boss. Claim valuable resources to unlock advanced technology. Conquest servers are coming. Conquest servers are being introduced by Ark Survival Extended by Snail Games. Of course they are. Conquest is a new PvP player experience for PC players which focuses on large-scale PvP while avoiding the problem of mega tribes, increased rates, and will allow tribes to set up more established Establish themselves quickly and enable for them to rebuild potential losses in being wiped completely. The official date will be announced soon. Basically, since they'll be under snail gaming, they'll do like a bull bullshit they pulled last year and a couple years before where people got on and they were each time the snail game developers and shit were getting their asses handed to them, they would crash the server and reset it. And people are going to have panning people from the server. So, yeah, y'all want to have fun with that? Go for it. New season details. 
Okay, it'll be five time experience, taming, breeding, imprint, maturation, hash gestation, 0.5 mating interval. These tribes are set to 25 players max. Tribe alliances are disabled through informal alliances are allowed. Well, though, informal alliances are allowed. Servers have a maximum player count of 100. More details to come. Your apocalypse servers. There is an apocalypse event. What are the apocalypse? What are apocalypse? Arc apocalypse are monthly wipe servers with higher than usual rates. Let's see. Next wipe will be June 21st, 2024. You can join them by searching in the server browser. Happy surviving. Arc Apocalypse, our monthly wipe server. Yeah, higher unit. And now wiping junior. Yeah, you get the fucking idea. But they just seem to need to read fucking Pete it from the actual announcement because if the other people don't think they can read the big fucking words on the big goddamn picture. But anyway, moving on. Bonus rates on the official network. Well, you know the fucking deal, folks. Two times harvesting, taming. Um... <clears throat> Harvesting, taming, breeding, four times. Harvesting, taming, breeding. You know, they got a small tribes apocalypse five times. So, yeah, that's the, uh, you know, they give it. And except for today, it looks, this, this time it looks like we're going to have this event for four days, which means May 28th, which I do believe is on a Tuesday, since Monday being Memorial Day. And I do believe today is the 24th. So 25th, 26th, 27th be Monday. So yeah, we'll actually have them until Tuesday due to Memorial Day weekend with Monday being a holiday. So, hey God, they give us an extra fucking day. Let's do backflips. And then there we go down farther. <clears throat> and of course, it says the same goddamn thing right down below. Yada, yada, yada. I ain't covering the goddamn community corner because yeah, uh, it is what it is. So there you go. Um, on a side note, I want to thank everybody for... All the views on the video with the cart and the self-loading uh, troughs from the refrigerators on the cart uh, and all the comments I loved hearing from everybody and the likes, you know, the subscribes. I love them. They weren't necessary, but hey, <coughs> I'll take them. I love hearing from everybody. All the comments that generated, I loved hearing. I love hearing from everybody. And I seen a comment in particular. That person uh, knows who they are. I will be uh, actually investigating what you told me there. Um, and a thing and we're going to work it up in a video on that as well i want to thank you for your input on that and i want to thank everybody for their input on that video and all the other videos all the other comments so we we jumped up to like 243 subscribers and for me that's actually doing pretty good because let's face it youtube doesn't want somebody like me to get monetized they won't monetize somebody like me because i just don't conform to regular bullshit and uh i'll never <laughs> be highlighted or showcased through wildcard because they know how much my disdain is for the actual company. I love the game. I don't care for the company a whole hell of a lot. But at the end of the day, that's enough of my ranting. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming in, hanging out uh, in the chat for the videos and stuff like that. And like all the comments, the likes, the subscribes. I appreciate everybody. And uh, I will catch you in the next Dark video, uh, which may be this weekend, actually. I'm not quite sure yet. Or Monday. Everybody have a great and wonderful holiday weekend. Enjoy the extra day of fucking race because Lord knows we need them. And everybody get their shit ready for lockdown. Head into the center on June 4th. Um, I'm thinking that me and possibly Enraged Pumpkin, I ain't sure yet because I can't speak for him, will be actually going live on, I will be going live on Twitch and YouTube. I think he may actually be going live on YouTube that, that day on the 4th. So you can see where, you know, how the fun, the landing process is, having nothing, trying to get something, and uh, yelling, screaming, cussing, throwing a fucking fit, you know, the normal arc shit that kind of goes along with it. But anyway, everybody, have a great day, great weekend, happy arcing, in the next video, I'm out, later.